Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Hey everybody, so this is going to be a royal roundup for the British Royals. So Toby Lynn Roberts 6683 has asked another question, and thank you so much Toby. All of you, ask me questions and I'll answer them. But she wants to know, what about the mental, physical health of King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Catherine, Prince Edward, Duchess Sophie, Princess Royal Anne, Duchess Sarah, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie? And specifically, what about the consequences of their stress and health? Battles, except I don't think uh, the Eugenie and um, and uh, God, Beatrice are having that problem, or actually either um, uh, gosh uh, Edward or Sophie. So we'll ask some questions around that. Then, um, as a follow-up, as suggested by Toby Lynn, uh, do Charles, Camilla, William, and Catherine realize they should have spoken out against the racist hate threats and lies against Duchess Meghan, Prince Harry? and Prince Archie, who he is now known as Prince, as he's now the uh, grandson of, a ro of the uh, monarch. So that'll be the questions, and I hope you like the video. If you like the video, you know, like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So here we go. We're going to talk about the royals. It's a royal roundup. And I've got a list here from Toby Lynn. How many royals are it? One, two, three, wait, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, ten royals that we're going to talk about. It's going to be quick draws, maybe two or three cards each, and uh, and then something on the follow-up. So I'm going to get through this rapidly, um, and here we go. I'm going to use this uh, Solo Buscatero, and as you know, I tell you all about these cards at the end, and these are very cool, but you know what? They're hard to interpret, but uh, they're kind of ancient, and I like that about them, and I think it uh, is a good, uh, good uh, cards to use for this situation. So yeah, what about the Royals? This Royal Roundup, 10 of them. So we're gonna see uh, what the cards can tell us. These are a little funny to, to, um, to shuffle. Uh, and you would think, I've been doing this for several years now, and you'd think I would be better at shuffling by now, but guess what, I'm not. <laughs> so it just goes to show you, you don't have, that's not something that has to be your niche. You just have to be able to uh, interpret the cards. Listen, and just so you remember, I don't uh, interject my, or at least not consciously, interject my personal beliefs into this stuff. I just read what the cards say and then try to interpret what they mean. And your interpretation is every bit as valid as mine. So if you think something's different from what I'm saying, you know, it could be very well be true. There's no... Uh, magic I don't think to this but before we do anything 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 let's have just a moment you know of meditation okay so all the royals a royal roundup and uh, we're going to see how this will play out. Um, it's interesting. I mean, nothing brings people uh, home to their true feelings more than uh, when they're reminded of their, um, you know, the finite uh, amount of time we have on this planet. You and me, too. So we all, when we're young, it doesn't even occur to us. At middle age, it's a, it's a distant thought. And now I'm 66, and trust me, I think about it a lot. But uh, let's do, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull six, six cards. No, we're going to go uh, two cards right down the line. So the mental, physical health of King Charles, Queen Camilla. Let's do that first. Charles, Camilla. I think, yeah, that's good. Charles and Camilla. Charles and Camilla. What about the mental and physical health of King Charles? 
First one up is, uh, what, what number is this? Is this seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of cups. You know, the nine of cups, cups are emotion, compassion, and the nine of cups is about, um, it's sometimes called the greedy merchant. So someone who's willing, who's ready to display all the trophies of their uh, emotional um, good fortune, really. So King Charles, mental, physical health, King Charles, he's showing us, he's showing to us how good everything is. That doesn't mean that's how everything is. It's he's showing to us how good everything is. But what is the determining factor of this? This is the two of cups yes <clears throat> the two of cups is a partnership okay this takes us directly to Camilla so he and Camilla are in the middle of showing us what their emotional value is but I want a determining card I'm gonna pull one more card to see what about his mental, mental, <laughs> mental, that's a good word, his mental and physical health. One card. Let's take it right out of the middle. What about his mental and physical health? Ah, uh, this is a knight. Yes, so the knight is the one who's got an action, a plan to form. The knight is the, the member of the royal court who's going to fight for whatever it is he's been given to fight for. And so Charles is going to keep putting, his plan is to keep fighting. Interesting. Okay. Now what about the mental, physical health of Queen Camilla? Okay, so this is the uh, hanged man. So this is looking at a thing from a different perspective. Camilla is beginning to change her thinking and look at this from a different perspective where she's not perhaps so much involved as queen could that be true and then the next card for camilla is the ace of a uh, wand so she also like the king has a plan to 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 i think to transition out of her major role as queen into something less one more card for queen camilla what about her mental and physical health Oh, okay. So this is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is, again, actions, plans, forward movement. But the Six of Wands is um, really carrying that plan forth. So yeah, she's right there with the king. He's got the plan, and she's the loyal servant behind him, pushing forward, carrying a light towards that end. So uh, this tells me that, yeah, there's an issue, or else he wouldn't have, have, have a plan around it. And, um, and she's following suit with him. They're planning... The transition to William that's what I think so yeah there's issues and they're making plans for it as they must that's the duty of the sovereign to make sure that everything goes exactly the way it should just like mom did so now we're going to talk about uh, Prince William and Princess Catherine specifically Catherine because she's the one with this she's got the obvious ailment that we we know about and we don't know about I and mean, we know that she's ill and had surgery and she's recovering but William he's got something going on is it mental stress is it worry what is the deal is it anger some are hinting that maybe there's some uh, uh, an edge of alcoholism there which I won't say that I believe in that but some people are saying that so William and um, Catherine two cards each for William and Catherine mental and physical health of William here and Catherine William and Catherine okay so this is the eight of wands lots of issues coming at him at the same time perfect wands are actions plans forward movement and this couldn't be more true this is the eight of wands and there's lots of issues bombarding him at the same time and um, okay so this is the 11 this is the page of wands as his position even though he's the next in line it's only the page he can only bring an idea to the court and it's up to his dad to decide how all this is going to be interpreted but what about so all of this stuff is a strain on him but what about his actual mental or physical health okay oh so this is the two of wands 
this is again everything about him is actions and plans but they're on hold and the two of wands is having to decide which way you're going to go and that's what he has to do he can't take the lead and he can't uh, shrug it off he's got to find some middle ground so yeah he's troubled he's got lots of stuff on his plate it is um, him deciding which way to go and this person doesn't look particularly healthy he's robust but not particularly fully healthy I'm gonna say that uh, Prince William is battling with at least emotional mental stress about all this but Catherine that's the one who's the big deal right now for Catherine Okay, this is the Sun card. Right now, she's in the light. This is the Sun card, Major Arcana. She's in the light. She's the one who's attracting all this attention right now from her mere absence. And the next card for Catherine is, again, this 11 card, which is the a page. This is the female page of emotions. So, again, very little value. Even though she's going to be the next queen, Right now, very little value. She's got to fall in line behind the king and the queen. But what about the outcome of her uh, her issues right, right now? Broken heart. What this tells me is, and these are actions, plans, uh, uh, truth, justice, rules, and law with the swords, uh, broken heart. So what this tells me is that her illness is from the mental stress that she has inside a broken heart is a mental issue that manifests itself physically and that's what's happened to her all of this that's coming on has just been too much for her to digest so yeah it, it hurts it hurts and it, and is it manifested itself physically for Catherine um, one more quick draw on uh, King uh, Charles and uh, Princess Catherine. One card each. Are they going to recover? Charles, this is the Seven of Wands. And this is a lot, a lot to get through. And he has to finally bow down to all these challenges. Catherine. Wow. So this is the Nine of Swords. Yeah. So again, her her truth just in rules and law. And again, she's working to prop up all these issues. They'll be they'll be fine. They'll come through it because this shows them working towards those ends. But it's not it, not without taking a toll. Look how these people are back bent trying to uh, deal with the issues they've been drawn to. So yeah, you wouldn't think that the royals have a hard time because of all the luxury and money that they're surrounded by. But then you strip all that away and it's about the stress. So next we're going to talk about uh, Prince Edward and Duchess Sophie. So the forgotten royals almost for the rest of the world. I'm sure Brits see them all the time, but for the rest of the world. So Prince Edward, mental and physical health and uh, Duchess Sophie, mental and physical health. What's going on here? Prince Edward. Okay, this is good. So he's got the great big ace <coughs> of truth, justice, rules, and law. His <coughs> guiding principle is clear for him. And again, the hanged man. He's also adjusting his thinking to a new scenario, looking at something from a different perspective. So he's there. Um, one more defining card for Prince uh, Edward. And that is also the, um, the page, the page of truth, justice, rules, and law. So no matter how helpful he is to the, the royal cause, um, his input is and will always remain no more than that of a page, bringing a message to the court. But his message is to the court is about truth, justice, rules, and law. So yeah, he's keenly aware of what's going on. He's trudging forward with his job. He's fully alert, but he's uh, singing the song about um, these problems that are coming on. Now, Justice uh, Sophie. Okay, for her, this is the High Priestess. Okay, this is very interesting. The High Priestess kind of gives us, and it's a major arcana, number two of the major arcana. The High Priestess gives us the, allows us to use our intuition to decide how to interpret this card to some point. But it also brings with it a kind of a motherly um, uh, protection 
And I think that's where her head is as far as uh, mental and physical health. And you can see this person is strong. So mentally, yeah, she's uh, there um, uh, giving a guiding hand um, and and we can use our intuition to recognize that she will continue to work in her diminished, I say diminished, because she's not a major royal. She's, well, she is a major, you know what I mean. She's not at the top. She's not the top four, as uh, Toby Lynn says, but she's important. And then also for Sophie, we have the nine, oh, it's a hard um, bunch of, of, of actions, plans to carry, but this woman is capable. Look, she's got it going up she's wading through water so it's a hard emotional journey but she's going to make it and one more card for sophie is going to be the six of cups and again it's loaded with emotion but she's she's up to the task and she's going to she's going to make it work i tell you not enough credit i believe is given to these second tier uh royals and the third tier rules for that uh, for that matter. Now let's talk about um, Princess Royal Anne all by herself. Princess Royal Anne, mental and physical health. What can the cards tell us? Let's do three cards right off the bat. Three cards for Princess Royal Anne. What will the cards tell us about her? First of all. Okay, so this is the queen of, um, let me think about this, um, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. No, this is the king of coin, peace, Pax is peace. She is the queen of value. She is unstoppable as far as her value to the crown and her devotion. The next card here is the uh, six uh, the six what the this is the six of um, what six of coin six of one six of coins six of one six of, these cards are hard to define these are actions plans so yeah she um, is fully committed to the actions and the plans that require her to, to fulfill those duties of royal. And then look at this. She comes out also as the uh, queen of uh, wands. So strong. Okay. She's going to be there to take care of the monarchy. She would have been a great queen. It's amazing. But, you know, things work out the way they should. And maybe that she's needed more all these years in her uh, role as a supportive royal. Um, and now let's talk about Duchess Sarah. I'm a little um, mixed personally about Duchess Sarah, um, but let's see what three cards can tell us about the Duchess Sarah. Is it Duchess of York, I think? Anyway, Sarah. You know, she's got her illness. Okay, so the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. That's what she's all about. She is trying to manage her husband's image. She's trying to somehow uh, deal with uh, her illness and still maintain her value. And it's an emotional journey. The Seven of, of Cups, Illusion and Delusion. The uh, next card for her is the Seven of Wands. Interesting that they're the same number. And the Seven of Wands is, again, actions, plans, forward movement. And then, or is that the Seven of Swords? I'm sorry, this is Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. Seven of Swords, okay. So she feels, look at this woman. She's stepping over Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. She's going to make this uh, work for her. And then the final uh, card here is this uh, Four of uh, Cups. Something that you don't really want. Listen, she married into that royal family. It turned out to be something she didn't thought it was going to be. But she's making do with what she's been given. So... As far as her uh, mental and physical health, this tells us that she's managing it with illusion and delusion. She's stepping past all that truth, justice, rules, and law. And uh, it's something that she didn't necessarily ask for, but she's carefully placing everything into a bag to manage it. Duchess Sarah is a tough cookie. Uh, but with a different agenda than the rest. Not to say it's a bad agenda, but a different agenda. Princesses Eugenie 
and Beatrice. Princesses Eugenie and Beatrice. Sure, I'm pronouncing that incorrectly with my American accent, so I hope you will just uh, bear with me on that. But um, the princesses Eugenie and Beatrice. Let's do two cards each for them. One, two, Eugenie. One, two, Beatrice. And is it Beatrice who's very good friends with the uh, Sussexes? Uh, Eugenie. Okay. She gives us the 13 of uh, coins. Okay, so that's the queen of coins. She has value. She's going to be there for a very long time. Almost like a princess Anne. Um, and then the six of uh, pentacles, which is uh, also uh, strong, strong, strong value. Now let's talk about uh, uh, Beatrice. So she comes up with, this is the knight of coins, knight of cups. Okay, Emo, uh, this is emotional. She is a fighter for the emotional well-being of her, her place and, and the monarchy. And then also look at this. So this is the, is this Major Arcana? This is an ace of coin. So also her value is I think not given its full due, but she's there uh, doing what she can in her capacity as a princess and a defender of the monarchy. monarchy. Um, finally, the consequences of their stress and health battles. The consequences of their stress and health battles. Well, I think we kind of covered that, but let's talk about do Charles, Camilla, William, Catherine realize they should have spoken out against the racist hate, the threats, the lies against Duchess Meghan, Prince Harry, and now Prince Archie? Do the top four have some sort of realization? Six cards. One. We're going to put them all into one group. Three, four, five, and six. Do the top four have some sort of a realization about maybe what they should have done. Happens like that sometimes. Um, the signifier card of this then is the one, two, three, four, five of cups. And again, this is a mixed bag of emotions. It's a, it's a challenge uh, and that's the signifier. It's emotional, a uh, lot of baggage. The um, challenge to that then is the chariot and coming on quick. Everything started coming on really fast for these guys um, now. But what about, do they realize they should have spoken out? It's a challenge, it's coming on fast. The basis of all of this is a broken heart. Of course it is, the queen's gone, the king's sick, Catherine's not doing well, it's all a broken heart. The past of this then, though, is the 10 of wands. Okay, so the 10 of wands, again, is it's a somewhat more celebratory um, idea of the plans that you had as, as far as regarding those wands, but that's in the past. We're dealing with reality now, and reality is a little more difficult than what your uh, plans were. You throw with a wrench in the works, the sky <coughs> for all for these four. For these four, again, is this ace of value, and then the final outcome for that is queens of a uh, coin. Listen, they're all strong, um, but doesn't tell us if they re if they regret or if they're rethinking their positions. Let's get uh, four more cards. Four more cards. It gives us where they are, but the very um, self of that question is right here in this um, devil card. This is a lesser intention. The whole self of that is that this was all caught up in lesser intention. They were not giving the future it's due. There was a personal element to it. The environment that that's in then is this 12 of wands and this is but they're fighting they're fighting for the plans that uh, were supposed to happen. The likely uh, the hopes and the fears I'm sorry is uh, this three of wands and this is um, a mixed bag. It's a confusion. It's not particularly easy to deal with, but the final outcome of everything, look at that, is a two of pentacles and finding a balance. Listen, they're not going to backtrack 
on the actions and the decisions they made, but they're going to start to look for a way to balance this out. So that's what I got today. Thank you so much, Toby Lynn, for asking the question. And everybody, ask a question you've seen. I'll answer it. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this Sola Busca Tarot uh, are great cards. These are museum quality, and uh, these are uh, in the era of the Italian Renaissance. So I love these cards. Los Scarabio, amazing box to come in. Look at that. And uh, you really feel like you got a great gift if you got these. The book is pretty cool, too, but it's not in color, but it's a lot of interesting story. I mean, you have to be interested in reading this to kind of get through the book, but there's some good tips on divination in there, too. The cards... Um, are great. I mean, they're slick, they're big. Um, so that's something that makes them a little bit hard to use. But, um, you know, these date back from around, like I said, the mid to late 1700s, I guess. And they're an assemblage of different uh, uh, examples of cards from a couple different uh, museum pieces, I think, or private collections. And then they put them together to make this whole 78 card stack. But I mean, look, I mean, they're gorgeous. You see them, how beautiful they are and colorful. It's just hard to use them. Um, you just have to commit to uh, how are you going to uh, work out your divination. So, really love these cards. I'm so glad I got them. Solabusca Tarot. And, um, but honestly, I don't use them that often because they're a little tricky to use. Gosh, and look what a mess I made trying to do this. You know, this is a good way to mix the cards up. And uh, if you want somebody, if you're doing a reading and you want to kind of get their energy into the cards, I mean, look how much you have to handle them to get them back together so that's all good uh, for me as far as getting the uh, cards uh, mixed up with some good uh, juju